My name is Norman Solomon. I'm an activist and author. I've written a dozen books, including War Made Easy, How Presidents and Pundits Keep Spinning Us to Death. I'm running for Congress now in a big new district from Marin County all the way north uh, to the Oregon border. One of the big concerns about the so-called war on drugs is the way that prohibition has driven people through these black market prices uh, to go to the public parks. You know, I've talked as well about the way in which the furtive uh, atmosphere of prohibition has caused people to rig up their electrical grow light systems indoors, trying to keep you know, the shade's drawn and keep it uh, secret, and we have houses burning down throughout the district and elsewhere as a result of prohibition, faulty wiring and that whole uh, furtive process. Also, the growing of marijuana plants on uh, public lands, uh, parks, and so forth. Uh, it's not only a security danger for people uh, who want to enjoy the beauties of public parks, which are uh, really essential to our quality of life, uh, but also the environmental damage because of the atmosphere of prohibition and this inexcusable way in which uh, pollutants are, are uh, used in the process, uh, damaging the soil, the streams, and also the way in which uh, we have uh, trees being cut down and just decimation of those areas of the parks. This should be unacceptable. Prohibition is having a negative ecological effect on public parks, and we need to recognize the intersection between the public policy realm and the ecological damage when you've got a war on drugs. This war is a no-win war. It damages our society, it fills the jails, it harms the environment, it ravages the economy. This is just not acceptable. We need a rational approach for society, uh, for the criminal justice system, and for the ecology.